Hey friends, it's me, Roxanne, Super Doodle Girl. I want to let you know about this upcoming series that I've put together built on teaching you and sharing with you that creative meditative flow that I do in the evenings. And this class is not going to be a one-off. It's going to be an opportunity for you to really dive deep and start to incorporate this into your personal life and your practice. That's why it's a series of six guided meditations where I lead you in this creative practice, but it also has some recorded content. So it's one of my hybrid style of classes where you get some online recordings and the opportunity to participate live and create in community. So it's the best of both worlds. So just a little bit about the class. So the creative meditative flow that I've been practicing in the evenings was the class we did last week. And the students really uh, enjoyed learning the process. They enjoyed asking questions and connecting with others as we created. So just a little bit about that. If you miss that class, it's kind of a spin on two, two of my uh, major tools in my toolkit that have helped me heal this year after my house fire on Christmas day. And one is my just intuitive watercolor visual create creativity. Love doing that. But then when I coupled that with an open awareness meditation that I do before I begin and just some uh, connecting with my body, checking in, how are you doing? And this kind of um, a set process. When I started doing that, my creativity just went through the roof. It's amazing. Um, I started to notice that I could focus better. I was a, a lot calmer, uh, less of the those ruminating thoughts. So thoughts weren't getting hung up as much. Um, and then this, um, it really was the mind-body fluid expression together as one that became really intriguing to me. So I thought, well, I want to share this with others and I want to gather some people too who are interested in learning this and let's do it together. So that's what this uh, series will be about. And each of the guided meditations will have a different theme. So the first one that we'll start with is going to be, the theme is going to be created to create. And I inherit, I believe each one of us, that is why we are here. We are here to create with our, you know, whatever that is. But in this case, we're going to be using watercolors and some visual arts for that. So created to create. Our second uh, second gathering will be finding focus. I'm going to read off my notes here so I don't, don't uh, miss any of them. We're going to um, do one on awakening awareness. The open awareness meditation is so, so good. We'll talk about softening into stillness, which might seem counterintuitive because you're like, oh, Roxanne, didn't you say we're going to be creating? Yes. So, but it will be kind of how do we soften our minds into stillness and let our hands do their work. Um, we'll, one, one of our sessions will be about relaxing resistance, that inner critic who can be such an obstacle. And then we are going to conclude this practice. Our last meditation will be curious to creative and how those two curiosity and creativity can intersect. So it's going to be a really nice time together. Think of it as a uh, like kind of creative yoga practice for those of you who practice or kind of the difference of watching your workout videos at home versus going to the gym and working out, you know, in a group type setting. So that's, uh, it's just a little piece. I've noticed that sometimes we have a, a little more accountability. So if you are interested in learning this practice and having that accountability, I hope to see you in class. <laughs>